Let's go catch some fish, Scott. All right, take me to the promised land. You know, anytime you're on the water is better than being at work. Or being in traffic. Or being in traffic or in an office or any, you know, any of those Breaking things. Breaking leaves. So, yeah. So no matter if it's blowing 25 out of the east, you know, we still like to get out there. Um, you know, it changes the game plan up. Sure, we'd all like to run to the furthest, furthest place that you got and catch the biggest fish that nobody else gets to fish for. But sometimes you just need to sit down with what's right there in front of you, super close. You know, we were, you know, five, six miles away from home and uh, put the anchor down and work on those fish because there's a lot of good eating fish out there. We, oh, dolphin! Oh, dolphin! It's just through the water. Good fish, too. Reel it up, reel it up. Make him look at it. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> I could use a spinner to do that, I guess. Yeah. He ain't that guy glide down. Here we go. He's still looking for more. Oh, yeah. He's still swimming He's around. He's still looking for more. I'm going to have to wait until he swims away. I'm going to whip him right in, dude. Your call. <laughs> Maybe easier. Yeah. You got to look at the hook yet? Right on top of his mouth. I don't see it popped out, you know? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> That'd have been a blue marlin. I'd have been in. <laughs> He's just that tweener size. Yeah, he don't like nobody touching his tail. It's too bad. I got you. All right, now the hook popped real good. You got him good? Yeah, I mean, well, good enough, yeah. I just threw that thing into, physically into his mouth. All right. That's, they said there's some dolphin out here today. There he is. Didn't take long to find one. That color is pretty, pretty impressive. No matter how big they are. Then uh, we knew there was mutton and groupers down there. And uh, but you caught a, you caught a scamp. I caught a scamp. We, got, we lost a couple groupers to the rocks, even with those heavy, heavy drags. But then we got uh, the, the, the centerpiece of that big mutton. And, and then uh, also and the, the whole kite the whole the time, kite exactly. the whole kite the whole times over the course of the day, it caught blackfin tunas, a dolphin, it's caught uh, bonitas, sharks, kingfish. It was steady, steady action that we just over our shoulder. The yeti was pretty full. A lot of variety of different species we caught there. You know, it's funny. A lot of times I look over at you and I'm blown away at the chaos that you put yourself in. Like, I mean, yeah. it's all these rods, the kite. Two rods sitting here, and then you're trying to fish in between those two rods, and I'm helps just like, me. it helps me think. I guess it just helps like, me think. You know, <laughs> who wants to get involved in that mess? But uh, it works out, man. It always does. And having those extra lines in the water is what's going to make the difference. Whether you walk back down that dock with some fish in your cooler, or if you don't, slip on a piece of bonita. I've been trying to stay out of your mess. You're not fighting like a. Not shaking like a bonita? No. You know, it's getting to be that tuna time of the day. Tuna time. Well, he's got a buddy that's lonely on ice. You got a leader? It's a black thing, buddy. Yeah, it? leader him up. It's a nice one. That kite's just steady bringing on the vittles. Sean Moose Boss. Whoa! It okay. hadn't been red hot, but it's been re real quality. Steady. Yep. Is that that circle hook? Yep. Two tunas and a dolphin. I'll take it. I'll cut that cut that out of there. Re rig. Let's see if we can get one more. Sim Rads into the blue, presented by Yellowfin, with Captain Scott Walker and Captain Steve Rogers.